Hello, Dr. Javaher is here. Many of computer science students take their first programming classes in C++ and more advanced classes in Java. Was transitioning from C++ to Java, many students have concerns as to whether it's going to be an easy transition or not. I'm here today to tell you that the fundamental and the concept of the programming remains the same, and it's just the syntax that will be different. One main difference is that C-based languages have pointers and Java don't. So if you are going from, Java, from C++ to Java, then you don't have to worry about it. I'd worry about it if it is the other way around. Since pointers are a very important subject, you need to really learn them if you're going the other way around. Nonetheless, let's get started and look at the basic syntax differences between Java and C++ in these two simple programs. These two programs are almost identical with a small difference that is on purpose. As starting from the top, let's look at the syntax differences in bringing preprocessor directives and libraries in each language. By the way, for C++ right now in this video, I'm using uh, Visual Studio 2019 community version. This is the IDE I'm using. And for Java, I'm using, doc, um, I'm using Dr. Java from drjava.org. So uh, let's take a look at this. From the top, importing java.util.scanner is pretty much the same as the preprocessor directive over here, the IO stream that we're bringing. They both are libraries with functions that are allowing us to get input and output into our programs. And for us to be able to do that in our program, we need to import those libraries or include those libraries. This is the C++ side and this is the Java side. So again, the concept remains the same, it's just the syntax of how you're bringing the libraries into your programs. Now, both of these programs are set to um, accept three different grade from the user or scores from the user, and it's going to get the average of those scores and it's going to print it out. In one of them, uh, we're going to, in the Java program, we're going to add a little do while that is going to repeat the program. Once your program is done, it's going to ask the program if you want to repeat it again. And then in the C++ part, instead of doing a do while, I just wanted it to add a little um, if statement. That way you guys can see that they, they are, again, the concepts are remaining the same in both programs. It's just the syntax. The way that we write it is, is a little bit... Um, language dependent. And over here we just have a little if statement that it's gonna um, tell the user that you know if your grade was 100 then congratulations that's a perfect score. So one of the main differences between C++ and Java is in getting the user's input and I'm talking about the syntax not the concept. The concept again remains the same. Uh, in C++ as long as you have included your IO stream and your namespace, then you can simply, without anything else, get your C out to the user and C in from the user. In Java, on the other hand, we need to create a scanner object for keyboard to receive input. You don't have to keep creating a scanner object for every output statement. You only need to create one scanner object of all these for all this input. Once you have created your scanner object, your keyboard is now ready to accept input from the user. In this case, we will be utilizing nextInt method from the java.util scanner class or the library that we have imported on top of our program. This will scan the next token of the input as an int with capital I. Please pay attention to the capital I. If it was double, then we would have been writing next double with capital D. This just brings me to an important point. Keep in mind the capital I in int for next int method or D in double for next double is different than our primitive data type. These are the ones that we're, I'm referring to. And since this is an integer, since we have declared this as an integer up here, then we're using an int down here. But this int is different than the one that we use in our primitive data type. Our primitive data types in Java are all lowercase. 
Few students get confused on if in Java primitive data type starts with uppercase or lowercase because of this. All primitive data types in Java, as I said, are lowercase. Um, the only exception is a string, which is really not a primitive data type. Um, string has its own class, just like C++. But the difference is in C++, we write string with lowercase s, and in Java, it's with uppercase s. Moving on to a um, couple of other syntax differences. In C++, uh, for us to print something out, we're just going to be using C out, stream insertion operator, and then you have your string lateral, and then you have your variables. And in, C++, in Java, on the other hand, you're going to be using the system.out print line. The print line with an ln at the end works the same as the end l over here it just pretty much gives it goes to the next line and then again you have your string letterals over here and in c plus plus you use your stream insertion operator in java you use a plus sign when you want to go to the next variable in your print statement one more thing that is important to notice is that the term method and functions are used interchangeably between Java and C++ in some textbooks. So if you hear method, they're the same as functions. As you can see, in these two very simple and basic programs, the concepts are the same. Whether it's defining variables, utilizing functions or methods from a library, bringing in those libraries, getting a user input, pronouncing output uh, to the screen or utilizing an if statement or a loop, we're only changing the syntax and the grammar of the language and not much of a concept. I hope this video helped ease your mind into this transition of going from C++ to Java. Let me know if you have any questions. Of course, this is a very, very basic program and I just wanted to cover the basis.